Hello friends, welcome again and uh, we'll continue our uh, journey of uh, this DevOps uh, videos uh, including Jenkins, Artifactory and uh, other uh, DevOps tools. So here, uh, now we are going to uh, learn about how to install the Artifactory server and uh, Artifactory server obviously a is used for uh, the local, uh, it itself has a local repository for all the artifacts. After uh, Jenkins uh, download and compile or build uh, the uh, source code, it uh, pushes the artifactory to the artifactory server where it is uh, stored as a local repo. Okay, so here uh, we are going to now install uh, the artifactory server. So same thing, we have already seen uh, how to install the Cloud uh, Viz Jenkins Operation Center as well as the Cloud Viz uh, Jenkins Enterprise. So here um, I have created a similar server uh, that is a VM. Um, what I have done is again uh, same how we did. Uh, I have gone ahead with the base uh, image and the DDA manage and cloned it. After cloning again, um, this server came up, this VM came up. I, I call, I'll call a server because obviously in practice these are all will be uh, virtual servers. So here, uh, I again, I what I did is I changed the IP address according to uh, my requirement and according to my own uh, environment and I changed the home as uh, host name to Artifactory or you can create anything you want. Uh, with that, uh, let's go ahead and uh, create, uh, install an uh, Artifactory server. What actually I have installed on this, uh, Artifactory I have installed. And uh, I have created a list of the commands uh, used for installing the Artifactory. So it's pretty simple if you see that. Uh, just you download the repo and add it to the uh, EM repo in CentOS and just uh, do a yum update and the install the JFrog Artifactory Pro. I have actually a uh, professional, right? I have, a, I have installed this one. Uh, finally, uh, we have to edit some of the uh, options here uh, like uh, JDK file and how much memory we are going to give uh, to the JVM and so on and so forth. Uh, so here, uh, same thing, let's go ahead and uh, just uh, do that, just copy and uh, go to our factory, kind of paste and obviously this way I have to uh, put a uh, sudo, uh, like sudo and okay, um, here you may not because you are anyway just uh, downloading. I have already uh, downloaded it if you uh, see that, didn't I? No, okay. So if go ahead and see it is downloaded alas. This is the report downloaded. And uh, move this to the uh, move the binary report that is the this file to ESC it at C uh, EM. Here you have to do a sudo, right? Because you have to access uh, this uh, directory, which I already did. Uh, if you go here, let's uh, say if you go sudo, okay, you don't need to sudo, see yum repo. Right, cd, let's see. Right. Right. You see that uh, this the repo I have copied here. After that, uh, just uh, do a sudo yum update. Okay, so here it is just updated again, uh, possibly uh, since my last installation there is the updated one and 
just install after that uh, just install that sudo yum install and it will now give that it is already installed just do it okay so this is uh, so already downloaded right so I'll give a no why it is trying um, okay so here if you see that it's see uh, for lip artifact free so var opt so here the installation is done at ct the var opt jfrog and artifactory pc it's already installed okay so uh, i already did that and you can do the same and you can go ahead and install uh, the artifact free jfrog and you can go ahead then what you do is edit this file copy it and do a fe editor sudo pi and you see that uh, the artifact free home artifact free user and java home i just updated java home okay and uh, all others are almost already given java options and all right so so save it after editing i have just uh, saved already and run it using uh, the system CTR, right the artifact right? So I just restarted, right? The I should have done the sudo. If it's not doing, it just ask me my password. So it took as sudo. So here uh, you can after editing, you can do this command. Run this command. System CDL restart artifact right? to uh, run. Initially, if you want to run, just uh, do a start instead of restart do a start then it will start the artifactory server that's all about uh, installing artifactory then uh, now what you do is go to the browser and 192.168.60 actually I have given 60 and it listens to 8081 the port number so here you see that uh, my artifactory server console came and here i can log in using the default user admin and by default the password is password but uh, well i have already changed it so i have changed to my password so now i could log in and you can use admin and password to log into the server and uh, that's all uh, with uh, uh, installation of uh, artifactory server and uh, let's uh, go ahead and see how can we use uh, this artifactory server and we can configure artifactory server uh, inside Jenkins to communicate okay so that will be covered in my next video um, thanks for watching